and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Boros Angels. I have played a lot of Angels decks before, but we have not really played a Feather the Redeemed with Angels altogether deck before. And this is a deck that's been showing up on the Magic Online results with some different 5-0s and everything. And so I wanted to try it out. Uh, I took one from the, the most recent 5-0 list. I made just a couple of changes, though, immediately. Uh, the, what, I, what I did is I added some Blood Suns in the sideboard. I thought we probably want those against Scape Ships, and I put in some Gideons for the control matchup. So that was like just one little thing. I just changed up some sideboard cards. But anyway, besides that, what our deck is doing is we are just playing, you know, a whole bunch of like mid range, like yeah, mid range flying creatures that are awesome. These are some of my favorite cards: Liar, Dawnbringer, Shalai, Voice of Plenty, Resplendent Angel. I'm gonna be sad when these cards rotate out. I've been playing them so much ever since like you know, October, basically, since Guilds of Ravnica has been out. Um, I've been going with Angel's decks just a ton. Um, not as much recently, as y'all know, for the channel, but just in general, played these cards so much. But now we have Feather to go along with them. And what Feather does is Feather allows us to play not only Reckless Rage as a really good, efficient one-mana removal spell, but then, of course, also God's Willing to be able to protect our different flying creatures I'm a little surprised that we only got two God's Willings and we have four these four Bishop of Wings. I'm not a huge fan of Bishop of Wings, but I want to give it another try. You know, like even even if I've been thoroughly unimpressed with this card in the past, that doesn't mean that I don't want to just, you know, give it another try. You know, I don't want to just be done with the card forever. Um, so let's give it a try. You know, it's in it's it's in the deck lists. Um as far as this deck, I feel like we're going to be very good against aggro with having the Bishop of Wings, with having all these Deafening Clarions, um, you know, like our Dawnbringers and everything. I think that we're going to be very good against aggro. I think that, like, we're going to want to be facing a lot of vampires. I think where we're going to struggle with these kind of decks, like, they usually struggle against control decks like Esper. Maybe God's Willing can help out a little bit there. Um, but you know, I'm definitely excited to have like the Gideons in the sideboard for those kind of matchups and rekindling Phoenix can be a difficult threat to deal with, but usually that's where this kind of deck struggles. Um, so hopefully we don't get paired against that, that too much. I want to see a lot of aggro and even, um, you know, we have three honor guards. So like elementals, maybe we do a pretty good job there because of all the honor guards. Um, but yeah, it'll be just an interesting one to try out. Let's give it a go. Here's some Boros Angels. We want to see uh, aggro. That's what we want to be playing against. All right, let's play through a league. See if we can get to five wins before two losses. Arcane Adaptation with Bishop of Wings. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't, Angel of Grace just isn't, it's not really stronger than the cards that we have in the deck. It's, <clears throat> it gets cast down, like all the, like the popular removal spells kill it, whether it's like cast down, lava coil, reckless rage, it doesn't, it doesn't dodge anything to spark. It's kind of rough. Flash, in a, in a deck that's like not playing hardly anything else instant speed, it being instant speed isn't super valuable. Also, three mana Teferi has made instant speed less valuable. Alright, so this is aggro, but this is big ol' aggro here. Dinosaurs. They can have some cards that are difficult to... Uh, Difficult to kill. Hmm. Because, yeah, like, Ripjaw Raptor or Rotting Registor are just so hard to kill. But if we can if we can curve out, we can go, like, Aurelia into Lyra. We can still get there. All right, come on, land. Okay. So let's get this in play. Let's kill this. Uh, 
Let's hopefully draw another land. We need one more. Collision. That's cheating. Let's go with the Phoenix. Don't want to see Big Mama Galta over there. All right, we got the backup. Phoenix playing some really good D here. really only gives vigilance if it's a white creature it gives trample to red creatures vigilance to white creatures so i'm not gonna i don't really want to attack with the phoenix they kill my aurelia get attack in with all this stuff and plus of course all their dinos have haste because of registrar alpha so All right, so we kill this, kill this, we take 9, 12, 15. But we're still looking good. Because the Dawnbringer doing what she does, bringing the Dawn. We can just chump that with Phoenix. Yes, yeah, so this is over. Yeah, we good. We'll just coil the shifting Ceratops, swing for lethal. And <laughs> the dawn has been brought. Alright, really good game there. Good back and forths. They had some removal spells, I had some removal spells. There's a really big combat step. So Honor Guard stops Registor Alpha from making the 3-3. It stops the, the two mana dino from killing stuff. It doesn't seem like that's really enough, though, for a card. Marauding Raptor. Yeah, it stops Marauding Raptor from dealing two damage, which is, you know, fine against Ripjaw Raptor. There are other times where, like, that dealing two damage is a downside. So I think I just want to bring in the Phoenixes, because we saw how good of a blocker that is, and cut a couple Shalai. Not a very good blocker. What are we thinking about Clarion? Maybe Clarion on the play? Instead of a Shalai? The, 
The other dino, the the one two always gives haste, yeah. So yeah, the reason why I played Aurelia before the second Lyra is because if they had removal, I did not want the second Lyra to, to die. And Aurelia and Lyra both attacked for five lifelink the following turn. I guess Lyra would attack for seven with the Aurelia trigger, but Aurelia still attacked for five. But yeah, basically I don't don't want them to have another removal spell. Hmm. Are we going to five? Guess so. It's interesting. Spell or ability, or just spell? Spell or ability. Uh, thanks, track team. You're awesome too. So we'll play Rekindling Phoenix here. So they discard both cards in hand. Shaper Sanctuary, Rotting Registrar isn't really a combo. You know, obviously we're taking another seven, but then if, you know, we need them to like draw a brick. That's not really a brick. Not really a brick. Nope, nope, not a brick. <laughs> yeah, that felt like a brick to the face. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Keepable hand. Okay, no Shaper Sanctuary. You just gotta kill these two drops, you know, you just gotta like you just have to. You can see how I've been very aggressive killing them. Fun, easy to build blue deck. Yeah, hard to say. There's a lot of ways you could go there. Basically, like, 
honestly just kind of recommend like if you just go to the YouTube channel that I have here, go click like the just the videos tab. You can kind of just peruse. I just have so many different decks. Um, you know, dozens and dozens of decks. Lots of them have blue in them. And you can kind of just see if there's anything that catches your eye, something that, that looks fun. Yeah, Blue White Flyers is a good one. Going for the race. Put him down to eight. Timely Bishop of Wings. Gain that four life. Not five. Okay. Yeah, Esper has blue in it. One and O. Oh. Angels are better than dinosaurs confirmed. Awesome, Vandar. Yeah. Yeah, uploading all the decks. Because, yeah, I know there's a lot of people who don't get to catch the stream. Check them out on YouTube later. Shout out to y'all watching this on YouTube in the future. Uh, what's the future like? Have machines taken over? It's possible. Yeah, Rekindling Phoenix. That was the card from... Um, that set from uh, Rivals of Ixalan. Like that and Jade Light Ranger. And if you think about like these these past few sets, like, you know, all the different really great cards in M20 and War of the Spark, like the last couple of sets. You know, like the list of like cards that are like similar to power level of Jade Light Ranger and Rekindling Phoenix. Or like, you know, just in that same kind of conversation, that list is very long in those two sets. And after Jade Light and Rekindling Phoenix and Rivals, it dropped off big time. Uh, yeah, it'll be, we'll have to kind of see what, what happens with the, uh, like, or what's going to be around, like, as far as mana base wise for Jeskai decks. But yeah, Jeskai Walkers has... Tons of good tools post rotation for sure. They have kind of everything they want. Um, yeah, probably consider just waiting for July first and then Resplendent Angel. But even if they use like three damage burn burn here on Resplendent Angel, that means they probably are not going to have three damage burn for July. I mean, they only had two cards. I guess I could play it really safe and just kill this thing, though. First. But yeah, we'll have to see what kind of dual lands come out in Throne of Eldraine. The problem with Shalai Rage is they could have a Shock as their last card. I'm going to really hope their last card is not Shock here. This is pretty greedy, to be honest. It's like, wasn't really a necessary Rage there. But I, I just didn't think they had Shock. I think they probably have, like, Frenzy. All right, so I guess they do have a burn spell. What's up, Aurelia? It's a good draw. Just another any angel would have been a good draw. 
Oh, really is an angel? That's a good one. Yeah, and Jeskai Walker's decks will still have um will still have like great six mana that all those great six mana walkers like Chandra and Ugin. I guess it's not just tons of them. That's that's two very great there's two very good ones. Uh let's see, mono red. More like mono dead. Am I right? Let's get these Clarions in here. Honor Guard, I suppose. Stop being Chain Whirler doesn't really matter. I guess it could help Phoenix, but I'm I'm taking out Phoenix anyway. But could stop it could help uh taking out or Honor Guard could stop via Shino Pyromancer, of course. I'm thinking Reckless Rage. Reckless Rage could be dangerous with them being able to target like with a burn spell also. There's two two honor guard. It dies to Clarion too. It's not that great. It's fine. Alright, let's go with this. Oh, yeah, it does stop life gain on Bishop, doesn't it? I forgot about Bishop. Life gain. Ugh. Well, we can kill our own. <laughs> We're just going to be killing our own honor guard with deafening Clarions. So we can gain life. Yeah, Bishop of Wings, definitely ETB, not cast for that four life. Maybe I should play two Reckless Rage instead of the two honor guards. I'm just hoping that, like, they have, like, some creature that they really want to do damage with, and my Honor Guard's kind of in the, the way, and so they Lightning Strike my Honor Guard. That's all I really want. And then they don't have the Lightning Strike for one of my Angels later. Aha, Sonar! Getting us one sub away from our next sub goal. Tacos, 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 tacos. With the sub there, we have Markawin, Reclipsing, Chektian, and Sir Joseph. Thanks so much, Sonar. Just hit Mythic with the Bloody Vamps that we played the other day. That is awesome. Way to go. Good job. That that is definitely a cause for celebration. <laughs> Bishop of Wings is what I'm gonna call my fast food guy from now on. <laughs> so yeah, one more for the sub goal. So if you're enjoying the stream also, like to help support me as somebody who's a full time streamer, you can hit the subscribe button there, get access to all these really cool emotes, so whenever we get subs like this, you can throw your hype boats in the chat and celebrate as well. Uh, Zonar is just, just taking, taking care of it, taking care of business. Their sub goal, Drahunet. Drahunet. Thanks so much there, Sonar. All right, so, and Farkle joining in also. Thanks, Farkle. Welcome to the channel here, Far Farkle. All right, so that'll work towards our next sub goal. So what we do with the sub goals, if you're kind of newer to the channel, each 10 subscribe, like 10 subs during a stream is a goal. And Um, and then each goal, I mark it down, and whenever we get to 20 total goals, I do a 12-hour stream to celebrate. 
since our last 12 hour stream that is sub goal number 14 so we are six away so probably like next week we'll be having a 12 hour stream so yeah definitely really happy that my opponent just lightning strike to that honor guard i'll take that trade here i think i want to play the bishop of wings though to maybe be able to go like clarion after this The honor guards are just like to block like the the one drops and and Viachino Pyromancer, you know, just like block those things and and how the Viachino Pyromancer not do damage to me. Bronsong joining in this harp. <laughs> oh man, talking stuff. Joining in on the hype. <laughs> Thanks, C Bronsong. All right, so that's number 22. Boom. There we go. That's been a really tough choice, whether to let the damage happen or let the damage happen. I'm so jealous of all those lands my opponent has. It's a good light up the stage. Whoops. Lifelink. If if the bishop did not have lifelink, I wouldn't attack. Because, like, maybe they had have, like, the haste creature, but they could still have the haste creature, but I'll get that point in. Because I think it's a less than 50% chance that they have the life, that they have a haste creature. But it's still possible. Uh, for the most, I've almost always seen Viachino Pyromancer, not Ember Hauler. It's very rare that I've seen people play Ember Hauler instead, but I have seen Ember Hauler instead, but... Um, Mostly it's Vyoshino Pyromancer because of Wizard's Lightning. Hey, what's up, Caddy Wampus? Um, yeah, there there are cards in Magic. I don't know about in Standard, but there are cards in Magic that, like, whenever you gain life, you lose that much life or something like that. Yeah. It's just pretty, yeah, like, it could say, like, just three mana creatures you control gain life leak until end of turn. You may deal three damage to each creature kind of thing. But I think I think this is just a pretty clean way of, you know, just looks, I think that's a pretty clean uh, design there for the card, even though you're you're basically always doing the other part. Um... So I'm going to just not attack because I'm not gaining a life. One damage isn't really valuable. I don't really want to play Honor Guard because, yeah, this is this is a really big non-bow. So I wish this Honor Guard was just a land. I do want to be able to gain four life whenever I play, if I draw a land and play some of these Angels. Probably light up the stage if they're doing that. Yep. Tilt. Tilt. Well, Feather of God's Willing is a combo. Uh, 
and then uh, hopefully we have a we can find a land after that and then play Shalai and have have Shalai with infinite gods willings. Dang, they'd be dead. No, no Leyline Sanctities in here. Man. So I should probably just put this feather down to the bottom now. Yeah, we're scrying it to the bottom. I can save the Clarion. I don't think I need to use it just to kill one Steamkin. Let's gain some life. Get the Bishop of Hexproof. Saving Binding for Frenzy, of course. Use the mana. Use the mana. Use the mana. 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 Darn. Well, Bishop of Wings is awesome against Mono Red. This is the match for it. The matchup. I don't really care about those 1-1s one -one's too much. Got, like, the Clarion going on and everything. So we're keeping them from using their mana with Steamkin. So I do think they have a spell in hand. Ah. The Whirler of Chains. Alright, Honor Guard's my chump blocker. Yeah, Liar Dawnbringer. Definitely be a good one. We have a lot of good ones, you know, any of our angels for the most part. Except for another Shalai wouldn't be spectacular. <laughs> well, we will outrace this Steamkin. We're attacking for four, they're attacking for four. But we're at 14 after this attack, they're at eight.
We are out of Shalai's. That is the last voice of the Plenties. We don't need to... Actually, I just wrecked Chandra pretty bad. Don't really need to worry about Chandra. We don't need to be worried about burn spells upstairs either. Ooh. This will kill Chandra. Nobody tells me what to do. Chandra, stop hitting yourself. Chandra, stop hitting yourself. What are you doing, Chandra? Well, stop. That was a disaster. That was a disaster. I agree. That was a disaster. So Chandra can only deal damage. She deals that much damage to a target opponent, which cannot target this opponent. So there's no opponents to target or Planeswalker. And there's only one Planeswalker to target herself. So there's no other targets for Chandra to do the one damage to. And then she takes one damage. So then one loyalty counters removed. So then it triggers again and just keeps on going on. Tuno, we have faced two aggro decks. That's what we want to face here, especially mono red. As you saw there with that game, we have a lot of good stuff against red. No problem, yeah. Yeah, so I knew there, there was probably some people that didn't know exactly what was going on there. Yep, so that's what happened. <laughs> she was on fire. We're playing Feather now. Transformed our deck. Before we were playing Angels, now we're playing Feather. Yeah, Chandra only targets opponents and Planeswalkers. Does not target any player. You cannot target yourself with Chandra. Only opponents... Uh, you know, the opponent had Hexproof. So it had to be a Planeswalker. So they couldn't just deal one to themselves to keep Chandra around. It's not an option. Well, I do want that God's Willing to go with this Feather. I'm hoping that... I'm being a little greedy here. We are on the play... Hoping that there's an untapped land under here somewhere. Well, bad news is not only was that not an untapped land, but our opponent's playing Nexus so that these Reckless Rages <laughs> aren't even cards. Good news though, Binding is a good card in this matchup. But we need another land. Need another land. Bum, bum. Need another land. Hmm. Blast Zone's pretty good against Ixalan's Binding. My prowess is on thoughtfulness I mean, I could scry upkeep, but scrying upkeep doesn't really even help us. Because then it's not like that land that we need. You are a mighty warrior. 
I can see. So binding reclamation is really what I want to do. But because of Blast Zone, we're binding the Azkanta. Because if we because then if they play reclamation, then we both have four mana you know, like then Blast Zoning on four mana blows up reclamation. I I could have upkeeped God's Willing there. I mean I guess I'll just be able to God's Willing and stuff now. I don't I don't mind the Shalai dying to a blast zone. I, I really don't care about that. Yeah, God's Willing you do have to choose a color. You cannot choose colorless. Lonely God with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Lonely God. Welcome to the channel. I really appreciate that. Twenty-three on the day. More blast zones. Kind of I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. What is this like zoning regulation that there needs to be so I much blasting? This somewhere. Hey Godfrey. Running pretty good today. We're having some fun. Or yeah, you can even say we're having a blast. So this is difficult. I know I need to cast God's Willing on their second main to put it back into my hand. But that's the problem, is that their second main may not be like their last turn because of Nexus. I don't really want them just to like, I don't know, do whatever to, to Shalai. Seek and find. Look in their graveyard. What? Only protects creatures. That's game. They get to flip as Kanta. That's game. All right, so we don't have just a ton here. Don't have very much, to be honest. Yeah, we kind of have nothing. <laughs> All right, so Blood Sun and Gideon, I suppose. Gosh, Bishop, Bishop of Wings is so bad. Lava Coil is so bad. Oh my gosh, this is just horrible. We don't even have... Man, we are really short on playable cards. None of these are playable. I guess this thing. Hmm. 
maybe they have creatures and or like like Nissa lands in reckless rage get them back no God's willing doesn't do very much in this matchup no this is not a good matchup for the angels that's for sure well Gideon's probably my best threat so let's look for a an untapped land here, or like, you know, a basic that can put this thing into play untapped. Boo. <laughs> Another game of temple, clifftop retreat, clifftop retreat. Yay. Get him, Gideon. Go get him. This is a prime day for justice. Your light will cleave the darkness. Yeah, this is probably 80-20 for our opponents. I can see that. This is about as good as our deck can possibly do, and we're on the play. If we lose this game, that will be real bad for us. Look at God's willing doing its thing. See, God's willing is amazing. Just like I said. It's perfect for this matchup. I believe in you. This, sh this should be insight. And I'm playing Shalai here to be able to protect Gideon as a Planeswalker there, so they can't just bounce Gideon. So I will be able to minus six Gideon if they play Reclamation. I'll be able to minus six and get an exile Reclamation. Yeah, God's willing Shalai Feather. It is pretty mean against a lot of decks. Not really this one, though, but yeah. So, certainly expecting a fog. <clears throat> we'll see if they have bounce spell plus fog. No, don't tell me they have bounce spell plus fog. Yeah. Gross. That was the best possible for them. Yeah, God's willing only targets your own your own creatures, and so yeah, I don't even if it said enchantment, it's just the stuff you control anyway. But yeah, that would have been great to be able to God's willing their own enchantment while they're trying to bounce their enchantment.
Yeah, London Mulligan is really, really nice. Hey, what's up, Matt? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Some hype in the chat for our new subscriber. I will aid you. Hmm. Guess I didn't... Didn't protect Gideon. Very well here. The land shall conquer you. My strength gave out. Hmm. That did not end up very good for me. Now, I don't even have lethal next turn with Dawnbringer. Right? No, I do. Never mind, I do. Yeah, it's, it's eight. I don't know why I was thinking it was six. Yeah, it's eight. Yeah, our standard dredge deck isn't isn't great, but it's a lot of fun to play. Yeah, we're self milling, mill over creeping chills and arc light phoenix and narc amoeba. Well, as I said before, that was like the absolute best our deck does and we're on the play they you know like we are threatening lethal though so like they do need something here like they need another fog or a nexus then start doing like the whole nexus thing Didn't draw a land, so a bounce spell will save him. They had nothing. All right, going to game three. Okay, need, need your help. We have almost no chance. Our chance is very small. I've played, yeah, I've played lots and lots of elemental decks uh, recently, too. Like, like last last weekend, I was playing a lot of elemental decks. Um, but none, not playing one today, though. You can see, like, we're playing Dredge after this. Yeah, Cat's name is Hawkeye.
But yeah, the all my all the replays go up on the YouTube channel. Play four decks a day here. And so there's a lot of good stuff up there. Alright, we have like our only interaction that we have with the Blood Sun. And some of our more aggressive creatures with four mana, four power, five mana, five power. That is not usually aggressive enough to defeat Nexus, though. Yeah, the sideboard for that Grixis Reanimator has a lot of cards that are good against aggro. Like it, it, it has a lot of removal spells to try to shore up the match, the matchup against aggro. Because aggro decks um, can be too fast for that Grixis Reanimator deck, and so it needs needs the interaction. And so that's what most of the sideboard is there. Share in my light. How many lands are in this deck? 25? That's what I thought. It's a good amount of lands. Okay. Just takes it, taking up the whole cam. I can't see the chat, Hawkeye. You're in the way. Yeah, you're in the way. Well, I wish we could play a blocker and have Reckless Rage. We just don't have mana. <laughs> you come here for Hawkeye, not me. I know. Same. I'm just here because of Hawkeye. Yeah, the Ashiok is to counter Escape Shift, but I don't, I don't love the Ashiok plan. Um, I wanted to change some things in that sideboard, and I talk about that at like the end of the video. It's it's uploading on YouTube right now. It's got about. 10 minutes or so. Like the phases of the this is over. Like waxes to the library. I guess I could draw... Could draw like Clarion. The land fights for us. <laughs> it's a small sheep. <laughs> Too big for a cat. Uh, Hawkeye, you're not a small sheep. You're a cat. This looks looks not real big with the camera. Right there. He's not he's not too big though. Nice. Glad that chili was good. I think you will find my notes helpful. And that is lethal. Nine it nine this turn. Twelve the next turn. We played Gideon on turn four, and we were dead. We didn't get another turn. We played Blood Sun on three, Gideon on four, and that's it. And they get the rest of the turns.
Yeah, I like some. Yeah, I like a little spice. I don't. I don't like tons of spices. And I like spices more than just like hot flavoring. You know, like some people just like just hot flavoring. I like. I like, uh, you know, different flavors of spices, but I don't really like just the make something hot to make it hot kind of thing. I don't really like, like, hot sauce. The, I think it's like the... It's also kind of like the Tabasco-y nature of hot sauce I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> yep. I'll still be streaming for like another hour and a half or so, Tara. Depending on how long the Dredge League goes. Here every day. Uh, so much commotion. From 3 Eastern to 10 Eastern. So like Meditate normal stream times. Prepare. As, as I talked about at the beginning of this, Esper is going to be really tough for us, too. These are, these are a couple of really tough matchups for us. Decks that can annoy, not annoy, that can ignore, there we go, ignore creatures pretty easily. All right, as long as they don't have, God's Willing is a good draw there. As long as they don't have a Wrath. Actually, we have this as long as they don't have Kai's Wrath. But they have a lot of looks to, towards Kai's Wrath, but maybe they're not playing Kai's Wrath. But, you know, we have the Shalai God's Willing combo. I shouldn't have played that extra land, because if they have another Belhan, I would need to discard that land. Bleh. Obviously, immediately they have Kaya's Wrath. Why wouldn't they? So they're going to be Thought Erasuring here, I, I assume. I'd rather have Dawnbringer in play than Aurelia. So I think they have cast down to kill this 1-1 one, one to keep Teferi alive. But I'm still fine with that anyway. I'm I'm at the point like where I Oh, I should have played Aurelia first. I forgot about that, that pump. I should have pumped up Lyra. Oh well it's Yeah, I should have pumped up Lyra, because that would have been twelve. Let's try this. It still would not be lethal the next turn. But I'm fine with that because I I need to be attacking them. We're not winning a lot a long game at all. So I, I didn't even really care about attacking the Teferi, but it was just the 1-1. One, one. But yeah, I, I needed to play Aurelia first. It does seem like I jinx it all the time. Like, as long as they don't have this card, then they have it. Okay, both creatures are lethal. Hone your prowess. No, we would have dealt an extra two damage if I would have played Aurelia first, so they would be at two instead of four. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. 
So yeah, go into the Stream Decker page there is where you can see all of the decks. Um, you can also see the Grixis re reanimator is now up on the YouTube channel, so you can find it there as well. And, are bound and there you go. Thanks, Matthew. This is not good enough. Looks like we snuck out a victory. They didn't find Kaya's Wrath. Do they draw to Spark? No to Spark. Yeah, they had yeah, they had the mana for both the fairies, right? Yeah, they Yeah, they could have done that. And they had them both. Yeah, they, they should have just done that. Yeah, could could have, did not. So yeah, control. We just we just have. Again, we don't have enough cards to, to bring in. We have too many dead cards like Bishop of Wings, Lava Coil. These cards aren't even very good. A lot of these aren't very good. Like this is just not a good matchup for us. But that's all right. I guess. I guess I won Honor Guards. I guess is that better than Coil? Yeah, let's just play Honor Guard. They could, you know, like Honor Guard stops Basilica Bell Haunt. Um, they could have Hostage Taker after sideboard also. It stops that. Could have um, the 2 3 flyer that gains 3 life, draws a card. Yeah, we honestly could just play Blood Sun to, just to have it cycle. It's not great, but three mana draw card. Our deck is really tuned to face aggro. Man, Thought Erasure's busted. They get to see my hand first. They're probably like, yeah, Bell Haunt's a good card, but then they see that I have Honor Guard, and they're like, nope, we'll get rid of Bell Haunt. That's busted. I'm known. Excellent timing. I've got it. Play it. Yeah, the average guard mage. Yeah, the average at best guard mage. Trust me, I could have that card. All right, they don't know about this planes. I'll start with the foundry that's pretty sacred. Only time will tell. Look at Honor Guard doing stuff. A lot more than Lava Coil would have done. Yeah, they're just digging for land. They got rid of Dispark, which is a pretty decent card here. They're just looking for. They prob probably have Kaya's Wrath and are looking for White Land. That'd be my my best guess. <laughs> it's Kali on her boss. Yeah, like those are just good removal spells. They're just getting rid of. They're getting rid of all these good one-for-one -one removal spells. Tell me they probably have Kai's Wrath. Don't think I need to put any more cards out here. Especially with Aurelia. Mentoring onto the Honor Guard. Anyway.
We will be so lucky if we win this. They have all these noxious grass into sparks and everything too. We really should not be in this match whatsoever. We're going to be really lucky if we actually pull this out. Yeah, Blood Sun hits Ascanta, but it's pretty easy for them to get rid of Blood Sun and then still activate Ascanta. They have a lot of answers to Blood Sun. Let's slow this down. Here we go. Wow, still no lands. And all I'm drawing are lands over here. So there's Kai's Wrath. I know I could swing for lethal by activating Resplendent Angel. That's what kind of that was kind of my plan, but they're just gonna Kai's Wrath here. This game's over now. Game's very over now. GG. I can no longer stand by and watch. Wow. We have no shot. This is a oh man, Gideon still gets all those noxious grasps that they had though. Wow. I see this deck like 5-0 sometimes, and I just don't I don't understand how this deck could possibly ever like beat Nexus or have to get really lucky to, to beat Esper. But if if you're only facing aggro, this deck is awesome. But against control and against Nexus, this deck is quite bad. Alright, Yud, have a good night. The link right above you. Um, that link right there, that gets you, that you can find the, find the reanimator deck list there. Sorry. Perfect card. That was the best card in our deck. It's not only the best card in this matchup, but that was certainly the best card to draw here. Prepare for battle. The focus no Noxious Grasp. Please. My strength. I'm not gonna let them minus Narset again. I am not <laughs> quite indestructible. Really, Matthew? I didn't hear that at all. Seriously? Like that? So S Sony pulled Spider Man out of the Marvel Universe? Spider-Man movie in the future is canceled and no Spider-Man in the Avengers anymore. Real like that's very surprising.
No, they found Noxious Grasp. Another day, villain. Boo. Shalai at least protects would protect Rekindling Phoenix from getting disparked. Those who cannot just meditate and prepare. And if they have a sweeper, we get like the one one anyway. But yeah, I'd much rather Shalai get disparked than Rekindling Phoenix. Contain your rage. Man, that's that's really sad. I like Spider Man a bunch in those movies. That's game. Every exploit ripples through time. Secrets manifest before you. Mind and body should move in unison. Keep an open mind. I just have so much stuff. Can't fight through all this stuff. Game is very over. I know my responsibility. Hey, Mitchin. Thanks for that resub there. Bringing some hype back after we're all sad after having to play those last two matches and hear that there's no more Spider Man now. Oh, awesome. Phoenix Revive. Cool. Use the Orzhov Sacrifice deck for that event. Glad to hear it. Okay, so our deck was exactly what we thought it would be. It was very, very good against aggro. So, like, if you're expecting to face vampires over and over and over again, you got, like, tons of vampires and mono red in your local store, which were, like, maybe the two most popular decks, like, in the MCQ... This is pretty good there, but against Esper and against Nexus in particular, but Esper also. Scapeshift, you have a lot more of a chance because you got the Blood Suns and the Deafening Clarions against Scapeshift. You got a lot more of a chance there. But oh man, Esper. And then, especially Nexus, is just no chance. And Esper, for how our opponent's build was with a lot of Disparks and Noxious Grasps and Aether Gusts, all those just being s such efficient removal against these ex expensive creatures. Not much of a chance there. All right. So, um, yeah, to see any of the decks, all the decks are up on Stream Decker there. So you can see any of the decks that you want. Um, but there we go. That's Boros Angels. All right. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And also leave a comment. I would appreciate that. But thanks for watching our angel deck here. 
and I will see you till the next, or see, see you in the next video. There we go. Take care.